Welcome to QBank Pro Academy. The nurse is interviewing a 14-year-old male patient with suspected COVID variant BA5. What symptoms are suggestive of COVID variant BA5 infection? Select all that apply. A. Sore throat. B. Neck pain. C. Chills and rigors. D. Confusion. The correct answer is A. Sore throat. B. Neck pain. C chills and rigors, and D, confusion. This 14-year-old patient has several common symptoms of COVID variant BA5 infection in children, including pharyngitis, neck pain, chills, confusion, body aches, poor appetite, runny nose, and fatigue. How does Omicron spread? The coronavirus has spike proteins on the surface of the virus. The Omicron variant of the coronavirus has mutations that change the spike protein. These mutations are important because they allow the BA5 subvariant to evade the body's immune system. This makes vaccines less effective. The spike protein on the surface is club-shaped. This is the structure that the virus uses to attach to the body's cells. The coronavirus has a particular affinity for cells in the lung. The surface of the lung cell has an ACE2 receptor. The club-shaped spike protein on the virus attaches directly to the receptor. This attachment is crucial because it allows the virus to enter the cell. Once the virus enters the cell, it starts replication. How does the body fight infection against the coronavirus and its subvariants? Antibodies are very important in this fight. The immune system makes antibodies that are stimulated by a previous infection or vaccination. Our antibodies attach to the spike protein on the virus and stop it from attaching to the cell. The Omicron subvariant, BA5, presents a unique problem for our antibodies. The BA5 subvariant has mutations that have changed the shape of the spike protein. Remember, the spike protein is a club-shaped structure on the surface of the virus that helps it attach to the cell surface. The altered shape of the spike protein prevents the antibody from attaching to it properly. The inability of the antibody to attach to the virus surface helps it evade our body's immunity. This is a hotspot question. This type of question asks the nursing student to identify a location on a graphic. It tests anatomy, physiology, and your knowledge of pathology. Often in this type of question, you will have to identify anatomical landmarks. Using your computer mouse, you will be able to move the cursor to a location that you think is correct. Let's try one of these types of questions. A 17-year-old patient with COVID variant BA5 who has been in the ICU for 10 days is being discharged to the ward. After removal of the central line, the nurse is asked to apply pressure to the subclavian central line puncture site. Identify the area where the nurse should apply pressure. The subclavian vein puncture site is shown above and marked with an X. The subclavian veins are often favored for placement of central catheters and ports. These catheters also provide access for drawing blood and providing parenteral nutrition. If you enjoy these hotspot questions, let me know in the comments below. A 16-year-old asthmatic patient with COVID variant BA5 who is in the ICU has an oxygen saturation of 84%. An arterial blood gas is ordered. Identify the site where the ABG will be obtained. The arterial artery puncture site is shown above and is marked with an X. An arterial blood gas test is a blood test that measures the level of oxygen and carbon dioxide in the arterial blood. It also measures the pH of the blood. It is an important way to assess the patient's ability to oxygenate and ventilate. A 17-year-old patient with cough presents to the urgent care clinic. This is interviewing the patient and her mother. What statements are true about close contacts of the patient who has COVID variant BA5 infection? Select all that apply. A. After exposure to COVID variant BA5, testing should occur as soon as possible. B. A close contact is only defined as a spouse. C. After COVID variant BA5 exposure, if the first test is negative and the patient is still symptomatic, retesting is done. D. Neonates born to mothers with COVID variant BA5 do not need to be tested. The correct answer is A. After exposure to COVID variant BA5, testing should occur as soon as possible. And C. 
After COVID variant BA5 exposure, if the first test is negative and the patient is still symptomatic, testing is redone. Explanation. Close contacts include consideration of individuals with suspected or confirmed COVID disease, six foot distance, and the time of exposure. If COVID variant BA5 infection is suspected, testing should be done as soon as possible. The nurse is called by the mother of a 12-year-old patient with headache, fatigue, and fever. What statements below are true about COVID variant BA5 testing? Select all that apply. A. Testing is unnecessary during the flu season. B. Patients suspected of COVID variant BA5 who are symptomatic should be tested. C. Serology testing is the most common initial test for patients suspected of COVID variant BA5. D. If testing is not available, the diagnosis of COVID can be made presumptively based on the risk of exposure, clinical signs and symptoms, and community prevalence. The correct answer is B. Patients suspected of COVID variant BA5 who are symptomatic should be tested. And D. If testing is not available, the diagnosis of COVID can be made presumptively based on the risk of exposure, clinical signs and symptoms, and community prevalence. Explanation. Patients who present with signs and symptoms consistent with COVID variant BA5 infection should be tested. Your history and exam are important, especially if testing is not available or testing is done late in the infection. The nurse is admitting a five-year-old patient with malaise, cough, and shortness of breath. What are presenting signs and symptoms of COVID variant BA5 in children? Select all that apply. A. Fever. B. Runny nose. C. Otitis media. D. Constipation. The correct answer is A. Fever. And B. Runny nose. Explanation. This question asks about the presentation of COVID variant BA5 in pediatric patients. COVID variant BA5 signs and symptoms may be different in children and adults. We have observed that symptoms of BA5 variant in children are similar to meningitis. Symptoms include headache, neck pain, muscle and body aches, fatigue, fever chills, cough, and difficulty breathing. The nurse is assessing a patient with suspected COVID variant BA5. What statements are true about close contacts? A. Neonates born to mothers with COVID variant BA5 will be tested. B. COVID variant BA5 is the least common variant in the U.S. C. Asymptomatic testing for COVID variant BA5 patients may be recommended in congregate living areas. D. COVID variant BA5 is the most transmissible variant and has been diagnosed in young children in the U.S. The correct answer is A. Neonates born to mothers with COVID variant BA5 will be tested. C. Asymptomatic testing for COVID variant BA5 may be recommended in congregant living areas. And D. COVID variant BA5 is the most transmissible variant in the U.S. Explanation. COVID variant BA5 testing may be recommended in some patients undergoing invasive procedures. Asymptomatic testing may be recommended in congregate living facilities. The nurse is assessing a 23-year-old female non-hospitalized patient with COVID variant BA5 five weeks ago who complains of persistent headache and dyspnea. What are long-term symptoms that the nurse would expect in a patient with COVID variant BA5? Select all that apply. A. Dizziness. B. Headaches. C. Shortness of breath. D. Weakness. The correct answer is A. Fatigue. B. Headaches. And C. Shortness of breath. Explanation. Long COVID or post-COVID syndrome symptoms include respiratory symptoms, fatigue, anemia, gastrointestinal disorders, headaches, muscle weakness, difficulty concentrating, joint and muscle pain. An eight-year-old male with cystic fibrosis is brought to the clinic with cough and shortness of breath. What comorbidities are associated with severe COVID variant BA5 illness and mortality? Select all that apply. A. Immunosuppression. B. High blood pressure. C. 
anorexia, D, morbid obesity? The correct answer is A, immunosuppression, B, high blood pressure, and D, morbid obesity. Explanation. Comorbidities that increase this patient's risk of poor outcome are immunosuppression, high blood pressure, and morbid obesity. Additional risk factors include diabetes, kidney disease, coronary artery disease, and cardiomyopathies. The nursing student asks her instructor about COVID variant BA5. The nurse correctly answers, select all that apply. A. Fatality rates remain higher among COVID patients than in patients with influenza. B. Fatality rates are higher among hospitalized patients requiring ventilatory support. C. Vaccination reduces hospitalization in patients with COVID variant BA5. D. Older patients and elderly with COVID variant BA5 are at greater risk for poor outcome than younger patients. The correct answer is A. Fatality rates remain higher among COVID patients than in patients with influenza. B. Fatality rates are higher among hospitalized patients requiring ventilatory support. C. Vaccination reduces hospitalization in patients with COVID variant BA5. And D. Older patients and the elderly with COVID variant BA5 are at greater risk for poor outcome than younger patients. Explanation. Poor outcomes are worse in older patients and the elderly with COVID. Mortality is higher in patients who require hospitalization and ventilatory support. Vaccination, however, reduces hospitalization and poor outcome in patients with COVID variant BA5.